if you talk about quickly about the process of learning how to braise the meat and all that, yeah. and I'm just kind of wondering, are you willing to talk us through that? How, so what, sure. what, what's the process behind that? Like, you don't have to tell us all your secret ingredients, yeah, yeah, yeah. but at least how it's done. No worries. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the beauty of a lot of Mexican food and like a lot of the braises, they're just like long, low and slow braises with like Mexican chilies and garlic and onions and all these other different flavors. And you just let it go, you know, like I use brisket so that, you know, it takes a long time to get that nice and pull. And then we pull it all apart by hand. So it's nice oh, and boy. everybody, your tacos like perfect. Same with the chicken. We actually do mainly braises right now, um, but it's just all about infusing as much flavor as you can into the meat. The meat is the star. Mm -hmm. You know, everything mm -hmm. else is just like a nice little pop of fresh. You know, everything's fresh. We chop everything, tomatoes, pico de gallo, make our own guac, we make everything in house. Um, but the meat's really the star. So we want that to, st to shine and everything else to bring some like flavor and some freshness to your bite. So everything's fresh, mate, like even to your here, I, I was going to say buns, but what are they called? Not the, the tortillas. tortillas, unfortunately, okay. <laughs> that is a, I've been, I've been down that road and it's a tough one. That's a full on employee just kind of banging out tacos. You know, you're doing hundreds of those a day and it's, it's oh, wow. a little bit time consuming. I'd yeah. love to get there one day for sure. Yeah. Um, when we first originally started, it was, we were just going to do a, a catering um, style business, me and my wife. And, and it's just all of a sudden we started banging out all these like tortillas and you know, you have 75 people, everyone's having three tacos. Like you're just like, oh my God. <laughs> so next thing you know, it's like everything's kind of on hold and you're just like making tortillas for, yeah. for days. Yeah. So we'll get there, but everything else in the restaurant <laughs> is totally, yeah, made by scratch. Oh, sorry to put you on the spot on that one. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it's still pretty like interesting how, how like everything's made though in store from the sauces to yeah. the, the meat and like, um, is there like specific inspirations with, with a different type of sauces or is this kind of something you said, oh, I like, oh, I mean like salsa you, or do you like learn different type of salsas that are made there and you kind of just repeat the recipes or there's some creativity Kind of, to it? yeah. I mean, I was lucky enough to go to Mexico a lot with one of my old jobs and, you know, we would work with families or, you know, work with the, the locals and try and learn as much as we possibly could while we were down there mm -hmm. um, and try and bring that back and do it as best we can here. Not all the ingredients are the same, so we do have to improvise from time to time, but mm -hmm. side salsas are something we take very seriously and we mm -hmm. have lots of, mm -hmm. from like a fresh jalapeno salsa to, like, you know, your regular tomato salsa. Or, you know, we do hot sauces now, you know, charred pineapple, habanero for the people who like a real good kick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's I all... I that one. It's, it's, it, it, yeah? it's pretty good. It wakes good. you up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's better than a coffee in the morning. You know what I mean? <laughs> so tell us what other products you have there. So it's not just tacos. So give us a little... Mainly tacos, uh, but we do a street style quesadilla. So we take our, you know, your original thought of a quesadilla and instead of making it just, you know, flat and this, whatever, we, we fold it all up into almost like a star shaped kind of pocket, like a, oh, cool. like a pizza pocket almost, you know, and the meat and the cheese and we put the salsas right in there. So you can just kind of grab it and go and just walk down the street with this big quesadilla in your hand. <laughs> so we do that. We also make a fresh ceviche, um, okay, which is, right. you know, lime marinated fish. So the fish is completely cooked, okay. but it's completely cooked in citrus juice. Mm. Oh, so it doesn't sweet. see the heat at all. So it's really yeah. refreshing, you know, yeah. for the summers coming up, that's going to be a big thing. Wow, to and that. we like to do as many specials. I like to try and have a special week because our menu is a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but it's because we care about everything on it so much. Yeah. So like, we just really don't want to mess around. We want everything to be 10 out of 10, knock it out of the park. So we do a special for the people that like to come in a couple times a week. Maybe they want to try something different. Mm -hmm. And that's where I, we get to really kind of play. Yep. and find out maybe if they, you know, this sold really well, maybe it's something that we do add to the menu down the road or whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're always playing.